This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. If you don't have code here, you need to go back and do the other sections of this lesson. I have tutorial videos if you're stuck. Right now we got two pictures being drawn, two sprites. Boom. Okay. What happens when you move forward then move back by 100, 200, or 400 pixels somewhere inside your loop? Try using the set pattern block before you start your loop to make a work of art. Oh, okay, so let's move forward uh, here and then and move backward. So, and move backward is hidden kind of, I guess, but it's right here. So I'm gonna move forward by 150 and then I'll move backwards by 150. Let's see what this does. <laughs> so I'm just drawing a line over them and I'm drawing a line right before I move. So that looks weird. So I'm gonna slow this down a bit. I'm going to then move these guys where I draw this line. I don't really want it. on top of them. So I'm going to have it under jump to middle. Oh, and then let me pause this. So I'm turning left before I draw them. So I draw this line, then I turn left. Let's not do that. Let's turn left at the end. Let me try this out. There we go. Now we're getting there. Okay. And then because code always runs in order, right? I was turning left after I drew the line and then putting down my stickers. What's, ooh, set pattern. So I'm gonna put this up here. You need set pattern before you draw a line. Because if I set a pattern under it, the computer will draw a normal black line and then find out, oh, you wanna use this pattern, but too late, it already used the black line. It will use it next round, but it's too late for that round. I'm going to try out this guy. <laughs> awesome. I think mine needs to be longer. Perfect. Beautiful art. Onward.